put uh, navigating to IS and check what are the existing website available so I have this sites available on my IS so navigate to commerce server 2009 tools Okay, so we have one warning for SharePoint search service. Cross check whether all your SharePoint services are running. Yes. So now we have two options commerce server web part and commerce server SharePoint default side with web parts. So if you select commerce web part, it will just deploy the web part on your existing uh, SharePoint site or WSS site, and this will create a website uh, and then deploy web part onto it. So here as I have to create one new website I'll click over this button I'll name my website as Raj shop let the port number be say 3344 and this is the extended website So this will be the public facing website. Okay. And the website is created. So uh, in the previous screen, I have used administrator as an app, app pool user. But uh, you can create a new user, runtime user for our uh, commerce server that can have access to database and the required permission. Have uh, shop home. Here you can write the description. Description of the website, and this would be my commerce server website name. Shop CS site. Here we have two options only schema and with sample data. This will create an empty database. This will create the database along with some sample data. You can also change the database server. Uh, 
Now let's start creating the commerce server site. This will take some time, and uh, after that you'll you'll see the screen uh, when you have two option: finish and view the website. and it's done So now we have the website and it says catalog name and channel is not defined. Let's go to site action. So we have provided channel value and default catalog value. And it's done. So my website is ready can add products to my cart it's done 